Welcome to the NCAA Softball Regionals presented by Capital One. Big day here in Lafayette, Lamson Park. The regional final between the Louisiana Ragin' Cajuns and the Bears of Baylor. A rematch from yesterday. Baylor winning 8 0 in five innings. So the Cajuns trying to force another game. Also has a couple of stolen bases in the regional line drive, and that's going to get down for a base hit. Good start for the Cajuns. For eight of the at bat. Outside, walked her. 25th walk this season for Crater, a team high. So a runner in scoring position. Even more energized than it already is. They're going to try to get the force in time to get Davis. There's a chance this is reviewed. It was a bang, bang play, but that was gutsy by Binford. And just Benford, you know, she can field for herself. When she's not pitching, she's playing third. So she's out there thinking ahead, knowing exactly where she's going with the balls hit to her. And... Base hit to right. They are not going to send Crater. Throw in from Watson. Right up. You get a ground ball here. Thought about going home, but Pylon elects to go to first for the safe out. And Louisiana scores as Lang Lears puts it in play. And it's 1-0 Cajuns. Yeah, and just, you got to know your speed of your runners. And Pylon, you know, she know that she thought about it. But the fact that she had that hesitation, I like her decision to go to one and just make sure you get a sure out. The 0-2. Gonna be a tough play, the throw, not in time. One run is in, the tag at the plate, in time. At home plate, but Louisiana jumps out to a two nothing lead. And Baylor coming up for the first time. But they haven't had their wax yet, we'll see how they respond. Lined right to the third baseman, Brooke Ellister. One down. After playing two at LSU, so very familiar here in Louisiana. Line drive to center, but right at Maya Davis, who has to come in a few steps. It's just very consistent. Hit on the ground, and that's going to get through the six hole. Ellis, Stan, and Vasquez both laid out for it. And Govan with a single. To be able to be on time. First time facing Maria Seto. Govan is going to be stranded. From her game, just the one hit allowed against Ole Miss on Friday. Giving up three in the first inning. It gets a strikeout here to start the second. First K of the game. Sunbelt regular season champs for the fifth straight year. The Ragin' Cajuns. Back over the circle and cut off, but... It's going to be an infield hit for Fulterman. Didn't try to do too much, put it in. West Monroe native, two for nine. Also comes back to the circle. This could be two to second. And throw to first, not in time. Pylon got rid of it about as quick as she could. First time up. Her fourth hit of the tournament. Here's another line drive, but snared by Casey West. So Louisiana strands one. We have faced a lot of injury adversity this year. Looping liner caught by Ellistad for the first out. Baylor's starting pitcher, Dari Orem, maybe their best pitcher, really. And we've talked about how good Baylor's pitching has been. I one more lost, Dari Orm, to a shoulder injury. Very severe injury for the season. Line drive, and that's going to be a base hit for Sidney Coyazos. Hit number two for the Bears. As the third baseman lines one to left. Of an off speed, she's just really sure. good at yeah. just placing her curveball, and so it'll be interesting to see how she makes the adjustments as well. Back to Riaceto. She'll go to second for one. Vasquez, the throw to first is in time. 
you know, but our team has built toughness over the season and they're ready to play too. Crater with another hit. To third, they're gonna go to second. No, safe. Casey West was a little late getting there and there's the speed of Williams coming into And that hit her, and this is the fourth time Valdez has reached on a hit-by-pitch. Trying to force two today. Binford Rocks comes home, ground ball. They're going to go home. Pylon gets the force out. Snap throw down to third. Back is Sam Rowe. This girl is a vacuum at short. I mean, this ball is hard hit. I mean, it takes her down. She's still able to get a uh, nice, clean throw, and... Her transition is so quick. The hitter now, Brooke Ellis, daddy with. Ellistad lifts it high and deep to lift off the top of the wall. One run is in. And that's all that will get in. It didn't get out. And then how they didn't score more. Yeah, I mean, this ball was hard hit. This is a 1-1 one -one pitch, change up right down the middle, and she just drives it, drives it straight to left, and again, hot, like you said, Clay, she just makes a great play to, to cut down another run. First pitch, back up the middle, and on the bag, they'll get one, they're gonna get two, and get off the field. Riley Crandall comes in, and gets a double play on one pitch. We'll see if that's a momentum changer. As Casey West leads it off. Comebacker to Rhea Seto. Comes right away in that first inning. I mean, it's impressive. I mean, just starting with Davis at the top, I mean, that girl is consistent. To short, and Strain is also thrown out. Take. Hot puts it in play. Another ground ball for Rhea Seto. That is a one, two, three, third. There's Jerry Glasgow, the bench boss for the Cajuns. Cajuns right fielder. Trying to bunt her way on. Binford at third base now. Throws a strike to first for the first out. Alterman had an infield single in the second, trying to. Haley was a freshman that year. Down the line, and that is a fair ball. Good piece of hitting there from Hayden, who's been on twice now. Runner goes, here comes the throw, and it is... Safe! The throw was certainly there. It's a late call by Thibodeau. I Back over the circle into center field. That's going to score another run. Hayden comes in. And into second is Davis. This is going to be number seven. Crandall comes home. That skips away. Davis was on the move. She may try to score. No. Govan got over there to pick up the ball and keep Davis at third. 3-2 pitch coming. Line drive, and that's going to find the gap. Davis scores. Crater slides into second. <laughs> Those pitches, but just look at her hands. So smooth. That swing is beautiful. Lefty hitters going left center is picture perfect. I love it. But what I love the most is the celebration dance. <laughs> has scored two of the five runs today for Louisiana. Full count, Knowles pitch. That's high, walked her. Two on, and here comes the cleanup hitter, Valdez, still just one out. Whoa, look out, did that hit her? It did! That time it hit her in the helmet. Now the bases are loaded back in the saddle and feeling good at the plate. Six to nothing, Louisiana.
Hit high. Hit deep to left. Goodbye, Grand Slam. Brock Ellistep tears a hole in this game. It's 10 0. Knee up, Ellistep. I mean, just this ball is elevated. And she just gets all of it, stays through it, and she knows <laughs> right off the bat that's out of here. Grand slam. <laughs> Hits sharply to short. Hylon. Low throw, but Govan plucks it. No, they're going to say safe. Govan had it and dropped it. Didn't complete the catch. Exhausting yourself more and burning people you don't need to. There's a line into left field. The inning rolls on here with one out. Balterman, her second hit. And so I think that it's at this point, resting him in game two is what matters. Another walk allowed by Noel. Popped up. Coyazos has it. Finally, the second out for Baylor. Kyle in this one. This one line to left. This is going to be more runs for Louisiana. Hot turns, gets it back in as quickly as she can. Two more runs scored, and Laney Crater. Her third hit of the ball game. She now has three runs batted in. I mean, Lainey Crater, I am circling her name on my scorecard. I mean, she has just been having some amazing at-bats. I mean, I think she has been the difference for Princeton. It's going to be a tough play. Binford got her at the plate. Now the throw to third, and... There was already two outs. Yeah, so, I mean, if that's out at home, that should be the end of the inning. Okay. He must have called her out at home. I yes, he that. did. Okay, missed that. So that would be the third out. I believe it's the morale that's just kind of chipping at him right now. Fly ball. It's going to be tough, but hot tracks it down in the alley. <laughs> What an inning. As well, but what's really stellar for her is her changeup. Six outs, there's one. Pylon is out. Govan hits it high. Hits it deep at the wall. It is going to be off the glove of Hayden. She kept it in the ballpark, though. High pop up. Ellistad called off by Vasquez. Two down. Sixth year senior. And Ellistad's going to take care of this one too. So Govan gets a single, but Baylor gets nothing. It's still 13 to nothing, heading to the fifth. At the conference tournament. Man, Lang Lears. Saying, we're not done punishing you guys. <laughs> we want you to feel this because you did it. That really was a knockout blow. Could be two here to second. Double play. West, pylon. Fly ball. Right field. Anna Watson has it. All right. Baylor, they need a bunch. Keep this game going. Walked her. For the first time since 2017. Popped up. Foul ground. There is Ellistad and Flores is the first out. Ground ball might end the game. Nope. Vasquez with a Pretty spin move and a good throw to first, but that six. Pardon me, my arithmetic is wrong. <laughs> Game over.
We're going to see you in about 35 minutes for the winner-take-all region final between Louisiana and Baylor, each team with a loss. Baylor has to wipe the slate clean quickly. 13 to nothing the final in five innings. For Natasha Watley and her entire crew on Clay Mantic, we hope you can join us.